So now let us bring objects or shapes from Illustrator into After Effects and turn them into 3D objects by using the Element 3D plugin. In order to do that, I have my, uh, after, uh, my, my Illustrator file open right here. So to access different shapes available, you can go to Windows and go to Symbols Library. And there are a lot of symbol library that you can choose from, as you can see. So there's a lot of things like map, mobile, nature, and so forth. I'm going to go for the symbol one, like logo, logo elements right here. And you can see that these are the logos right there. Mind that this might not work with the most complex form of graphics, only the simple ones. So I'm going to select this one right here. Let me let me see if this works out with this logo right here. This already kind of looks like 3D again. So now I'm going to select this out, press Control C. I'm going to go into After Effects and over here onto my solid layer, I'm going to press Control V. Once you do that, you can see that it does work, but there is some artifact errors right here, as you can see right here. So let us choose some other object of my choice. Right, so I'm going to go on to my Illustrator and go for a more simpler object, something like this one. All right, so this doesn't seem that it has much path. Let me just uh, expand this in, in proportion. I'm going to copy this, Control C. I'm gonna go into my After Effects and then press Control V and paste it, just like that. You can see that now the shape is there. So now what I can do is I can go over here. You can see that there's the mask. All the masks are there. And I'm going to create a new solid, apply Element 3D onto this. I'm gonna go and add Element 3D on the solid layer two because solid layer is one is where I have my shape. And over here on custom layer, I'm going to select the solid layer uh, one where my shape is. I'm gonna go into my scene setup and I'm going to extrude this out. And you can see that now the shape is there as in 3D object, just like that. I can increase my bubble scale, I can increase and decrease the path according to what I want. And then I can apply any preset materials to it like plastic. All right, there you go. So apply plastic to it, right? It's still being applied. Let me just click and drag it properly so that it is applied. All right, there you go. So now you can see that the material has been applied. I'm going to press OK and the material has been applied right there. So I'm going to disable the layer and I'm going to increase the size. So I'm going to go over here into particle look, increase the particle size. You can see that you can rotate this out as well. So I can go to particle rotation. You can see that I can rotate the material out as well, just like that. So that is how you can bring Illustrator um, objects inside of After Effects and then convert it into 3D objects by using Element 3D. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.